Welcome back to the AB Scout Project. I'm Krager, and this is Alpha Bravo. And in this episode, we're going to go through the remaining 8788 Target Masters. I've linked below where to find the others. Most of them were introduced in the Season 4 of the original cartoon. The Autobots Target Masters went on to be part of the crew of the Lost Light in the IDW More Than Meets the Eye comics. The Decepticons went on to make other various appearances in the comics. For this review, I'm going to ignore the MicroMaster and Minicons and equivalent sizes. We'll start off with the Autobots. First up is Crosshairs. He's been in the cartoons, the live action movies, and the IDW comics. Our recolor stand-in is Cybertron Brush Guard for the Shattered Glass Crosshairs. First we'll remove G1 for playability. Next we'll remove the Shattered Glass and the movie for IDW G1 appearance. That leaves us with Siege and my custom that I made from Titan's Return Cup. I made this custom because I had a spare Rodimus face and thought Hey, I'll buy a cup and make an Ironhide custom. About the time I got the cup in the mail, they announced the Siege Ironhide. I said, okay, I'll just make them into crosshairs. I finished the custom, and then shortly after they announced the Siege Crosshairs here. I said, there's no way I'm buying that after I made that custom. Then he was literally the only Siege figure Target had on New Year's Day on 2020. So I bought him. So long story short, Siege is great for IDW G1. But my custom is what's on my shelves because I went to the trouble of making it. Next up we're looking at Point Blank. Not much to add to the lore, so on to the toys. For our height stand-in, DX9 Carry is in for the Make Toys contact shot. G1 is out for playability, and Make Toys is way too big to put in your chug. These guys should be deluxe for IDW and Voyager for G1. So you're left with a custom. I made mine out of a T30 Night Beat I refurbished. But the Power of the Primes Punch Counter Punch makes a lot better mold for a custom. I just didn't want to fork over the money for the second one. With the re-release of the Punch Counter Punch mold for the Generation Selects, there might be more opportunity for that. For now, you can get T30 Night Beat cheap and it comes out looking good without too much effort. For the remaining Autobot Target Masters, Sure Shot, Landfill, and Quick Mix, your only options are G1 or Custom. I haven't made Customs yet, so G1 rules for them. Next up is the Decepticons. We'll start with Scourge here. He's the only one in this episode who didn't start life as a Target Master, but wound up one in Season 4 of the original series. He went on to be featured in several forms of media, and wound up part of a zombie army in the IDW comics. For our toys, our height stand-in is Titanium Thundercracker here for the Titanium Scourge, and our recolor stand-in is Sideways for the Botcon. First we'll move G1 for playability, and Titanium and Botcon for G1 IDW appearance. So we're left with the Titans Return, the Generations, and the Studio Series 86. Just by appearance alone and the fact that he has a flying bathtub alt mode, the SS86 wins. This guy is almost perfect for screen accuracy. He looks absolutely marvelous. I'm keeping the TR around as a sweeps because I already bought three of them, and at $30 a pop, the SS86 isn't exactly cost effective to army build. Next we'll look at Slug Slinger, Trigger Happy, and Quake. Although Slug Slinger had an Energon mold, it looked nothing like G1 IDW. So for all of these, the G1s are out for playability, so the Titan's Return wins. Lastly, we'll look at Needle Nose. He only differed from the last set because he had Transformers Collector's Club update instead of a Titan's Return. So for playability, the TFCC wins. As you can see, the Autobot Target Masters need the most love. So please, Hasbro, make them happen. Especially if you could make a point blank out of the punch counter punch mold, that would be awesome. Anyway, thanks for joining us today on the AB Scale Project. If there's a character you'd like to see, put your request in the comments below. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.